Hello YTPC, Ethan, Parsimonious Piper here. And today we have another episode of YouTube Piper's Care. But first, a little three-star Pipe by Lee Apple. I have got some Chomsky's Choice. It's a tasty, I guess you'd call it an American blend from Killer Briar 626. He uh, tells me that it's got burley, Orientals, Perique, and Kentucky in it. You get a little sourness, a little floral, kind of the, the depth from the Burley and the Kentucky. It's nice, very nice. Let's dive in this week. First off is the most recent one that I have received, and that is Corvette Jim let us know that his wife, Cindy, well, first of all, uh, they both came down with the thing. He was recovering okay, but Cindy was struggling with it a bit. She wound up having to go into the ER where she had a heart attack and was placed on a ventilator. If I caught the numbers correctly, her oxygen levels were down uh, around 60. Got an update this morning. Thank you, Onion. That her oxygen, le oxygen levels are back up around 97%. She is still on the ventilator. She is still in critical condition. But things look better. Say a prayer for that wonderful couple, if you would. Pallet and Piper. The Rona hit his household, too. They're faring a bit better. He was smoking a pipe the other day. Picked a strong blend so he could smell it and taste it. Drop by, give them some encouragement. Keep that family in your prayers. As, as you know, when one person gets sick, then everybody gets sick. It's not fun doing the recovery. Last new item this week, another somber one, Monty 53 Piper up in Michigan. Tells us he's got friends who have kids that attend the high school that had the uh, fatal shooting this last week. Four people, I believe, killed. Keep those folks in your prayers. That's a... Uh, that's a hard situation to be in. Whether it's your own family members or or friends. It does make uh does make attending those schools uh a little more tense for quite a while. Now those were all the new items that I had this week. Um I was thinking, we've had a lot going on between uh, COVID, a lot of families like uh, Beans 316 and Classic Man. Um, I'm not sure if Aaron, uh, Chronicles of a Pipe Maker, if his daughter tested positive, but she was not feeling well. And coronavirus is not the only virus that's out there making people sick. And then we have folks who are dealing with chronic pain. You know, glum chum, swaggy man, Scott at 16th day with back pain, you know, cane rod with his knees. Aging parents. I know I've mentioned bass piper and smoke swag before. But judging by the uh, amount of gray hair that I see in the YTPC, I imagine there are quite a few of us who, who have parents who are aging. We're starting to deal with those issues. 
Chronic illnesses, Cobbett of the Shire, all briared up. You know, Parkinson's and epilepsy are things that you don't really ever recover from. Yeah, epilepsy does occasionally go away, but for right now, John's still dealing with it. And Parkinson's, that's a whole nother nasty animal. Preacher Man Piper, his wife. Death of a family or a friend. Boy, we've had a lot of that this year. I want to read just a list, a short list. I would, well, it's not that short. These are the people that I, I thought of off the top of my head. If I have forgotten you, I, I do apologize. It's, it's strictly an oversight. I just wanted to give an example so to remind people of, of the hurt that's going out there. Philly Piper, NC Piper, Night Piper, Captain Bailey's Adventures, Gentleman Scholar, Picking and Piping, Full Doddle, I'm Just Chris, Mutton Chop Piper, The Tunnel Take, Garbage Man Piper, and Fed Head Ed. group of people that off the top of my head I can think of who lost a, a friend or family member this last year. I can make it tough going into the holiday season. And firsts are always rough. I've watched as my mother-in-law has struggled with the death of my father-in-law. Everything you do that first year for the first time without them, it's difficult. So there's, there's a lot of hurt out there. The good news is there's also hope. That hope is about to be celebrated in a few weeks with the birth of Jesus Christ. My prayer for you today is that in these difficult times, God will somehow use them to draw you closer to him. So that you can celebrate Christmas for what it really is. With that, light something you like. Get out there and give these folks some encouragement. Say a prayer for them. Enjoy your afternoon.